My name is Latvi Nathan. I'm the director of 12 O'Clock Boys. You can't just ride, call yourself a 12 O'Clock Boy, and then stop. I had no idea where the story would go. I knew that I wanted to illustrate the excitement of the, of the group and the kind of initial pull that you experience when you see them and to, to make it kind of high octane with that in that regard. Uh, and also to kind of show why the group exists. So I was really fishing around for material. For the first couple of years I was getting in with the group, I was getting a lot of action coverage and getting this kind of whole subculture, but there wasn't much of a story. So I was trying to meet anybody that I could. And in 2010, I was introduced to Pug, just told that there's this funny kid who's but like zipping up and down his block and you should meet him. So, you know, I, I saw him and immediately it was a good character. There are people that I, you know, I imagine I'll know forever. And I think getting close with Pug and his family gave me a, a perspective of Baltimore that I'm really grateful for. I mean, it's funny because uh, uh, the conversation of accountability and exploitation and all of that stuff seems to come after the fact, you know, but while I was filming and spending time with Pug and his family, it was so organic, you know, it's just really uh, pretty innocent. I'd like people to see uh, why that kind of rebellion exists in, in such an abstract form uh, that it is kind of lesser of two evils and while it's controversial and dangerous it's kind of a necessity for for people. What I became interested in is how people start to revolt or to rebel and you know this this form is so strange so bizarre it's kind of like a choreographed sport it is in the name of rebellion and out of frustration, so you know, it's, it's, it's a conversation.